Mindful eating. You may have heard of it. You may though wonder what exactly it is and how to do it. So today I'm going to talk a little bit more about what it is and give you an exercise to help you learn how to do it for yourself. First, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm Long Island's eating disorder specialist and I post on this channel twice a week all about eating disorders, body image issues, and general mental health. So if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing using the subscribe button. Also, I would encourage you to subscribe to my email list if you do so at the beginning of each week I will send you a newsletter that will contain what I'm going to be putting out in terms of content that week but also an added bonus as I create resources to go along with many of my videos including this one and I will send that at the beginning of the week for any of the videos that will be coming out over the next week so that you can use them in conjunction with one another to really hopefully get the most out of my content. Mindful eating really is a process of being present and being able to identify all of the experiences that you are having in the current moment of you eating something. So what exactly does that mean and what is the benefit of it? Mindful eating is really beneficial because a lot of times people are out of touch or out of their body really when they are actually in eating. So that may lead to unhealthy eating behaviors such as overeating uh, or binging. Mindful eating really is about bringing yourself back into the present moment and truly experiencing the food that you have. So today we're going to do it together. I urge you to join me or you could just watch and then when you are ready, definitely try it for yourself and you can use this for anything. So first I am going to clean my hands because I've been touching stuff. So if you are going to be eating, I'm going to be eating something with my hands. I'll show you in a moment, but I want to just make sure I'm clean because it is certainly flu season. Okay, so I have a Hershey Kiss here and this is going to be really beneficial in trying to work toward mindful eating. So you can use this practice for anything that you're eating. I would encourage you to start with something small like this because you'll see why in a moment. There's a lot that you can experience with this, although there's a lot that you can experience with any food. Um, however, I like the added benefit of having this wrapper because there's just a little bit more mindfulness that can go into unwrapping it and that process also. A big part of mindfulness is experiencing something, whatever it is, whether it's eating or something else, through all five senses. Let's start with our sense of sight. So when I'm looking at this, I see silver, I see light popping off of the, the light ring that I have behind the camera for lighting, of course. I see this, um, I don't know what this is really called, the paper thing, and I feel it too. Um, and it's kind of, it's just, uh, it kind of tickles if you do that. So I see it's, well, it's kind of cut off, but it should say the word kisses. Um, so yeah, so then we're going to also talk about our sense of feeling. So I feel something cold a little bit because it's foil. Um, I feel roughness where it bunches up on the side. Like I said, I feel like this tickles if you kind of just do that. It just does. So let's continue on and actually unwrap the Hershey Kiss. Do you hear that? So there's a lot of sound here. Ripping it, or if I roll up the wrapper, put it to the side, don't eat the wrapper, guys. Take that off, and you hear a lot of that, right? So that's using our sense of hearing. I'm gonna pop this off. I just didn't wanna drop it, I had to be careful. All right, so furthermore, what do I see? What do I feel? There's all different stuff that I see. I see brown. I see that it's a little melted. I see a tip. Uh, I feel that it's very smooth now. And what else? Oh, it's kind of like, like not symmetrical. Like it's more slanted on this side. Now we have two more senses left that we have not experienced it with. So we have smell. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like chocolate, very chocolatey. I know that there's so many people, like I love candles, but this is just totally a side note. I always see on the bottom, like what notes it has, or I love perfumes too, but I never really know how to describe scents 
it's just something that is just it's just funny it's just like everyone's like oh it's a very you know um musky scent I want oh okay so I don't have the skill in identifying smells in very much detail so forgive me that's pretty much all I could say about that but if you have any other words that could be described describing the aroma or the smell of this chocolate let me know but I could just say it smells delicious so and I feel I'm going back to feeling again that it's melting a little bit in my hand so I'm going to pop this in my mouth I'm going to probably feel things in my mouth obviously I'm going to feel the chocolate melting I'm going to be able to taste it I'm going to be able to hear the me chewing it now let's see what I taste It tastes delicious. It tastes like chocolate. I hear myself chewing. I'm sorry if you guys don't like this. Because I know some people have weird things about it. I feel it mulching in my mouth. I feel my teeth getting more stuck together. Mm. It's really good. And as you swallow it, you can feel that. I feel it on my teeth. Mm. Well, that was delicious. So, I just need to drink some water now. Well, not only was that delicious, but it was a really mindful experience. And I hope that you truly work on this and use it for things that you're eating incorporate any types of specifics that you smell or taste if you taste seasonings if you feel temperature there's a lot of other things that you can experience through your senses you may want to even begin by taking a deep breath before you start to do anything ground yourself a little bit more before you even start to take a bite but I truly hope that this is an exercise that you can employ and that you could start to even incorporate in other areas of your eating. Um, so perhaps not only are you doing it as an exercise, you are actually able to incorporate it at a meal. And I truly hope that that helps to bring you more present and helps to make you more grounded and mindful and being more in tune with your body and listening to your body when it's starting to get full or when it's hungry um, because when we are able to make ourselves more present we're able to be more aware of our experiences in that moment whether it's internal or external i hope that you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below about what you're choosing to use with this exercise are you choosing a hershey kiss too or are you choosing something else you could click my face over here to subscribe to my channel and I wish you mindfulness on your journey to finding your state of balance and I will see you in the next video.